So I watched a foreign drama called My Secret Romance. I know the title already. You're like, <laughs> I was at the, uh, I was there too. But yeah, it's on Netflix. I don't know how many episodes and I don't really care enough to go look. It says one season. It doesn't tell you how many fuck episodes. You actually have to like go fucking look. But I believe it's in... I think they said it was South Korean. Either way, I believe they're speaking Korean. And it's about kind of like this rich playboy who's kind of, uh, spoiled? No, that's not quite right. Um, yeah, it's about him and then this other girl who is trying to be a nutritionist. I want to say like lunch lady or cafeteria worker or something. I don't know if that's like what the official title, like the official job title is, but she's a dietitian. And basically, it's they have a one night stand. Three years pass, he can't forget her. And she kind of gets this new job, and it turns out it's his fucking company. Or what, technically, it's his dad's company. His dad's the chairman, and I think he's the CEO now. And uh, he finds out and kind of just annoys the shit out of her, basically. Like making her make uh, lunches for him, and then not eating it, and complaining, and just her kind of finally just getting fed up and <laughs> like yelling at him. And it's basically like him just kind of messing with her and then her trying to like pretend like I don't know you, leave me the fuck alone, dude. Like it was one night stand, let's not talk about this again. And another big thing in this show is that her mom is an adult film actress. If you don't know, she did porn and it's deeply affected her. Like people have always made fun of her for it. She was clearly bullied at one point by it. And so her doing this one night stand kind of fucking horrified her because basically what happened is her mom had a wedding. And he, his, his dad was fed up with him, so he's like, go work at this fucking hotel for a bit as a busboy. And she kind of meets him, and basically what, the, what triggered it is, like, it's like her mom's, what, second or third marriage, I think, at this point. And um, she decides to include, of course, the fucking poster for this uh, movie she did. And, of course, her fucking daughter's mortified. And her mom's, like, super proud of it, kind of wants to get back in her heyday. And just by the end of the show, like they do kind of address it or address that a bit with her finally explaining, you know, like, do you have any idea how this fucking ruined my life? And normally I'd be like, come on, it didn't ruin your life. But like, no, she was like really, like it really, like pretty much bullied because of it. And she could just never really escape it. So the fact that she had a one night stand would, of course, would horrify you. Like, oh my God, maybe I'm just like my mom. So that's kind of why she like avoids him. And he doesn't know that. So he's like, what the fuck? He kind of like wakes up in the car because they did it in the car on the beach. And there's a bunch of like cackling older women who are like, oh, and she's like, well, do you know the girl who was with me went? I was like, oh yeah, she booked it. And I guess they're like insinuating he wasn't good or something. And that's why she ran away so fast. And no, it's because she fucking heard them coming there and she was like mortified that she actually, you know, had one night stand. So she just kind of fucking ran. And of course, they kind of saw her on the way out, <laughs> scrambling with clothes. And so he kind of wants to get revenge to an extent, which it doesn't really feel like revenge, but he just kind of like annoy the shit out of her. But it doesn't feel like bullying so much as just like being an, an annoyance more than anything. But it's kind of them like falling in love and her kind of having to deal with just everything that's going on. And um, I actually ended up liking it quite a bit. Is it my favorite foreign drama? No, but did I have fun watching it? And it made me like roll my eyes and laugh and go like, oh my God, like just contact cringe. You're like, oh God. Yeah. It, 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 I watch it. It's on Netflix. Like I said, I don't know how many episodes there are because I didn't fucking count. I want to say like 14 maybe? 14? I don't know. I'm probably wrong. But um, I would definitely go check it out. It is um, cringy at times. Um, I think the character I liked the least was definitely the girl that's like in love, who's the reporter, who's in love with our, our main boy. And she does get better at the end, but she's kind of one of those characters you want to punch. <laughs> like you just want to drag her by her hair into timeout. Like, she's one of those characters. Like I said, she does get better. But, um, yeah, she's pretty fucking annoying. Because she's one of those characters that has a crush on someone, and it's quite fucking clear they don't like you, girl. 
they've all but like wrote a fucking sign that glows like made you a fucking neon sign it says i do not like you bitch go away so it's pretty fucking obvious like i hate characters like that that don't understand the concept of they don't like you fucking move on to another person that irritates me so much and they're usually like the most bitchy characters they're like why would they like me i don't know maybe because you're constantly fucking with the person they actually do like and you're constantly stalking them and bugging them at every opportunity. And you literally went to his father several times to try and get with him. It's annoying, chick. Go away. It's not cute. It's fucking creepy. Don't ever do that. So yeah, she's kind of fucking irritating for a while. And I don't... The chairman... I mean, his dad. I don't particularly like him either. But, um... He's not the worst, like parent I've seen in these type of shows like I've seen some ones where you're like oh my fucking god would you please stop being horrible to your children will you please stop bitching about who they're marrying it's not like they're a goddamn hardened criminal it's fine that they're a normal fucking person that are not rich calm down they're like oh my god they can't marry them because you know, like those characters thankfully he's not super like that he's teeny bit but he does kind of it looks like they get better at the end they never fully, like, address him. They just kind of touch on a teeny bit where they're, like, eating together at the end or something. So it looks like there might be some of... Uh, some healing, some... One review. Just one fucking review. I would like to get done with that. And every time I open my mouth. I know she can't help it. I'm not blaming her. I'm just saying. It'd be nice if I could somehow time them in between or something. I don't know. You okay, boo-boo? See, we're having a sleepover tonight. One of the other dogs that my sister owns is going to be spending the night in little piranha boy. That's what I call Jasper, the new puppy. Someone's going to be watching him and then his sister who's going to stay over here. And she used to do pretty much all the time. But it's she hasn't done it lately. So yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. And it's on Netflix. Go watch it. Bye-bye.